Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, so last uh, few classes we were actually discussing about the TypeScript and before that we were actually discussing about Node.js. Okay, so now here I'm I just come up with a new course on our YouTube channel uh, UI Brains that is backend development. So till now we have discussed a lot of front-end technologies. So now it's completely focused on uh, uh, backend technologies. Okay, uh, so in this uh, what 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 technologies gets covered in this backend uh, web development is uh, first we start with a node.js and then we start with express.js and then mongodb and then we are going to make uh, a few restful apis with express and mongodb and we also have uh, to discuss uh, good projects and applications okay so it's a complete backend codes okay so let's start and what's the best thing about this uh, complete backend codes is everything we're going to do in typescript okay so node.js express.js mongodb rest api everything in the language called typescript because that's uh, you know very much popular language and when nowadays everybody is uh, you know every javascript developer is trying to convert to the uh, typescript language and now the future is for typescript language okay so let's make the complete backend setup with typescript okay so let's start with the slides and then uh, we'll start with the installation steps yeah here is the code summary uh, so first we're going to start with as usual node.js uh, so what is node.js and how to write our basic programs with node.js and all and then uh, we'll see how to create a server routing okay and form handling with node.js and then we'll start with express.js so express.js also how to use the third party modules and how to use core modules and other modules and uh, uh, how to create a server how to make routing and how to create the rest api using express.js and then we start with mongodb uh, how to frame the table structure and how to make the relationship between the tables uh, so those things we're going to discuss and finally once we have done with this uh, uh, like node express and mongodb we're gonna make some projects and applications so where you get the clear idea how to make the backend web development okay so fine and here we're gonna discuss a lot of modules and a lot of uh, new features uh, the very first thing is how to execute your node.js uh, a variety of execution methodologies in typescript okay if you read node.js program in typescript how to what are the different methodologies of execution and then uh, we'll see there is something called nodemon automatic server startup so this will restart your uh, node.js server uh, whenever you do some file changes and there is a password encryption so how to encrypt the password and environment variables using dot env and token based authentication system using uh, json web token and we also see the course integration for cross browser functionality and mongodb schema creation using mongoose like tables uh, uh, like we have to specify the rules for the table uh, that's called schema we can make with mongoose and then there are some real-time date uh, uh, handling that is using moment.js and real-time logger using morgon and authentication middleware so how, what is the middleware concept in express.js and how to use the middlewares and also we'll see unique identity uh, i mean id generation using uuid and the credit card payments using stripe and paypal and server side form validation so this is something new okay server side form validation and also we'll see the deployment so it means uh, uh, we're going to deploy the express application to the server okay so those things and if you can see node.js yeah these things gets covered uh, i'm not gonna do line by line study uh, you can easily understand what's happening in node.js and then express.js and then mongodb and then we'll do a uh, lot more things okay and uh, this course is not just the basic level course you need to have a, a basic understanding of few other technologies there is a prerequisite so you must have a knowledge on html css and javascript and that too in not uh, in javascript we need to know uh, what is callback what is promise what is async await so most important and also you should have a basic understanding of typescript as well so if you want to get to know more about these technologies or you want to brush up these technologies you can just go visit my youtube channel uh, the same channel which you are watching this video uh, there you can find a playlist of html css and javascript and even typescript which recently we made so those things just just go uh, 
just uh, you know just watch those videos and get some confidence and then you come back to this video for better understanding of backend web development okay so this is all about the introduction uh, video and let's see in the next video how to install and how to make the setup of uh, node and express js and then we'll start programming thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you